Thank you for inviting me here to testify on SBA's hiring policies and our continuing efforts as minority recruiters. SBA takes seriously both the spirit and the intent of federal guidelines regarding the promotion of diversity in the federal workplace, and SBA is committed to addressing the diversity of our workforce and to increasing the representation of women, minorities, and persons with disabilities. As of September 30, 2007, the agency's workforce totaled 5,056, which included our temporary disaster workforce. Minority groups, which accounted for 39.63 percent of the total workforce, decreased from 2,635 in fiscal year 2006 to, fis to 2004 in fiscal year 7, due primarily to losses of temporary workforce hired to service disaster loans following Hurricane Katrina. In fiscal year 2007, SBA had a population of 48.22 percent male and 51.78 percent female employees. 26 percent were black, 8.47 percent were Hispanic, 4.17 percent were Asian, and 0.93 percent were American Indian or Alaska Native American. Of these groups, black males, black females, Asian females, American Indian or Alaska Native American male and female representation was above the civilian labor force. Reviews of the grade levels for permanent employees indicate that a significant number of the employees, 28.88 percent, at the SBA or at the GS-12 level or above. Current fiscal year 2008 data indicates that SBA's total staffing is 5,034, of which 2,307 are other than disaster employees. Of this group, 1,220 are at the GS-13 level or above. 58.9 percent are male, 41.1 percent are female, 21.88 percent are black, 8 percent are Hispanic, 5.49 percent are Asian Americans, and 0.73 percent are American Indian or Alaska Native American. SBA has a total of 39 career employees at the SES level, of which 41 percent are minorities. Of these senior executives, 12.8 percent are Hispanic, 25.6 percent are black, and 2.56 percent are Asian. Most SES positions at SBA are located in our headquarters offices in Washington, D.C. However, seven SES positions are located in our major metropolitan district offices. The SBA is a small agency and does limited hiring on an annual basis. For example, in fiscal year 2006, SBA hired 113 permanent employees and 128 in fiscal year 2007. When hiring, SBA's Office of Human Capital Management strives to ensure diversity on our ranking panels. We have found that this strategy pays off in increasing diversity in our workforce. In fiscal year 2007, the agency employed several recruitment strategies to build a diverse workforce. One of the most effective tools we use to accomplish this is to actively participate in job fairs and federal career days at colleges and universities. And we often target schools that are likely to help us establish a pipeline of diverse and highly qualified individuals. We continue to target community colleges because of their strong ties to their local communities and their potential for providing diverse applicant pools. Some of the events SBA participated in are the Presidential Management Fellows Job Fair, the Congressional Black Caucus Diversity Fair, the LATPRO National Society for Hispanic Professionals, and the Thurgood Marshall Scholarship Fund Recruitment Event. These efforts only reflect efforts here in the Washington, D.C. area, but nationwide our staff participates in job fairs with colleges, universities, professional organizations, and others to broaden SBA's reach to attract a diverse group of high caliber applicants for our mission critical positions. Additionally, we also utilize USA Jobs as a recruiting tool. Because of the technical nature of many of our mission critical occupations, we found that the best recruiting tool and has been word of mouth. By utilizing our network of resource partners, educational institutions, and others, we have achieved great success in attracting diverse group of highly qualified applicants. SBA recruitment initiatives are complemented by two things, training and succession planning. The administrator has made training a major priority at SBA and has instituted a new personnel-focused training program called SBA University. This initiative came as a direct response to employee surveys that showed that such a need existed. Through training, SBA seeks to develop a highly skilled workforce with tools they need for advancement and career development. SBA also has its SES candidate program to facilitate leadership succession. The last program was run in 2004. We had 18 individuals selected to participate, 14 graduated. Of the 18 selected, two were Hispanic, three were black Americans, and six were females. Be assured that SBA has been and will continue to be proactive with its recruitment efforts by building and strengthening external partnerships, eliminating barriers that may be exclusive, and providing challenging and rewarding opportunities. Thank you for inviting me to testify, and I would be happy to answer any questions you may have.